What's going on champions? Welcome back to the channel. Right now, we're talking about the five shocking things that damage your credit score. In other words, five ways that you can mess up your credit score. We're not just going to talk about how you can mess it up or what can damage it, but we're also going to touch up on the ways that you can avoid it. You know, what can you do to put yourself in a position to win financially from a credit standpoint? But before we dive in, if this is your first time stopping by this channel, welcome. Consider subscribing now to join this amazing community to stay informed on the helpful tips for your financial wellness and success. So let's jump right into what is this big deal about the credit score? Why do you even, why should you even care, right? Why, why, why do you even need to listen to this whole, you know, spiel right now, right? So you're going to find this out pretty soon, but most importantly, people miss the point on what the credit means in their life. A good credit score will get you access to a better neighborhood. A good credit score will get you access to job opportunities. A good credit score will get you the best rates on your insurance. Your, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it will save you money on your insurance, right? But a bad credit score takes money away from you. A bad credit score limits your potential when it comes to your lifestyle and the experiences that you can have or you can get during your lifetime, right? And this is very important because if you live in a home right now, chances are that you either are financing the home or you are renting the home. And if you are renting the home, your landlord pulled your credit before they rented the place to you. And if you purchase the home through a loan or a mortgage, the bank had to pull your credit. And if you had a lower credit score or a not so good credit score, that will impact how much mortgage interest you pay. So, you know, your bank account is at stake here, your pocket, your wealth is at stake here. So you gotta pay close attention on watch shoulder variant because when it comes to these, you know, credit mistakes or this credit, you know, uh, the credit snacks, the things that drag you down from a credit standpoint, they are so, so, so common and so silent that they just kind of pull you down without even knowing it. But let's jump right into it. So the very first thing here is, you got to understand how the FICO score works, right? So the FICO score range. And if you were looking on the screen right now, you can kind of see that these numbers have different cate you know, categories, right? They have different classifications. So anywhere from 350 to 559, forget it. That's not your goal. Just forget it, right? That's horrible. That's poor. And if you're sitting, the sweet spot is basically when you're sitting between 670 to 739. That's good. Maybe not a sweet spot. The sweet spot actually is when you're sitting between 740 to 799. So that's what's called very good credit. And at this score, most lenders will give you the best rates, you know, the better rates. You're always going to pay less for stuff, right? But when your score falls below this range, chances are that you're paying too much money. There's more money out of, you know, out of your pocket than that you know that you could have been saving or you could have been investing or treating yourself to a trip or something like that so let's get into the very first thing that damages your credit score right the number one thing you got to pay attention to is past due payments so late payments this has a big drag on your credit score uh, I mean, uh, late payments or timely payments or your payment, your payment habit, right, makes up for 35% of your entire credit score. So failing to pay on time your rent or a parking ticket, something as simple as that, or a utility bill can drag down your credit score heavily. So you got to put those on the calendar. Make sure you are aware of the deadlines, the payment deadlines, and you stick to those, especially your reoccurring bills or bills that you don't even expect. So put them on your calendar and avoid the late payment. That's a 35% drop on your credit score if you miss a payment. Number two, number two is something that most people don't even think about. You know, that's too many credit inquiries. So too many credit checks or basically when you are applying for many more, for too many credit cards or store credits, things like that, right? So when you're opening up new lines of credit, your credit gets pulled. 
and there's a soft pull and a hard pull. So when you find yourself in the shopping mall or the store and the cashier is offering you store credit, asking you, hey, you know what? You know you can put the payments on, a, on the store credit card today and you can save yourself 10%, 5%. Now you gotta think before you say yes, sign me up so I can save 10%. Because that 10% could really be costing you thousands of dollars without even knowing it. Meaning that it drags your credit score down when you get too many credit checks. So you want to limit the number of credit inquiries or new credit applications or new loan applications. So store credit is the big carpet here. I mean, this is where most people, this is what most people fall for. So you got to pay close attention and keep your eyes wide open the next time you are offered store credit or you are asked to have your credit ran to see if you qualify for uh, you know, a store uh, card or something like that. Number three, number three, so not, number three is very important, right? <laughs> number three is an advice that most people get, especially those who feel like they're trying to get their financial life together. You get this advice all the time from some financial advisors. They say, hey, cut up your credit card, close your credit card account. You don't need credit cards, cut it up, right? The truth is, whether you think you need it or not, your credit score is important. But here's the thing. If you must close down your credit card account, be sure not to close down your oldest credit card account, especially if it's been more than eight years and your newer credit cards are not up to eight years old. That's my opinion, strictly, right? Because from my experience, the older credit cards, the credit cards that you've had, once they stay, once, once, you know, once they've aged, once you've gotten enough years on them, your credit seems to get a boost. And you know, the age of your credit plays a big role. So not just the, you know, the, the length of all your credit history, right? You are also talking about your credit utilization, your credit limit also gets impacted by this, right? Because whenever you cut down your credit, you close one credit account, what happens is you are lowering your overall credit limit. And this impacts your credit score on the negative side. So you got to pay close attention to this before you cut up or you close that credit card account. Better still just have the credit card and not use it, but make sure you still have it in your possession and it's still active, but do not use it instead of closing it down. So next up here, number four. Number four is very important as well. This is a big one, co-signing loans. Before you co-sign loan for friends and family members, you gotta pay close attention to the impact that it will have on your credit score or your credit profile. Because when someone pulls your credit report, let's say you're going out there to get you know, a mortgage approval, and they see that you already have a loan that you co-signed for someone, it shows up in your name on your credit report. So guess what happens? Your debt to income ratio is affected. And once your debt to income ratio is affected, it will further strain the possibility of you getting the loan that you are going for and your credit score could sometimes or most times take a dive. So again, you gotta watch out for co-signing a loan, especially for people that you are not sure of if they miss the payment that's going to be a derogatory um, mark on your credit as well so that will mean your credit will take a hit because it's almost as if you missed the payment because you co-sign for them number five number five is also very important so number five is high credit utilization this is last but not the least very important right so number five when it comes to credit utilization we're talking about the percentage of credit you use out of your overall credit limit. So how much money are you running up every month? How much are you burning every month when it comes to your overall credit limit? And this could be by per card or overall, like your card, you know, so this could be from a single card. Let's say you have $5,000 on this card and you have $10,000 here, $2,000 here, you know, how much are you burning on each card and how much are you burning on every card? So your credit utilization accounts for 30% of your overall credit score. This is huge. 
And ideally, you want to keep your credit utilization below 10%. That will be the, the best recommendation for me. And some you know credit experts advise that as well. However, if you cannot, you want to make sure you stay below 30%. This is very important. Do not get in the habit of maxing out your credit card. If you've been maxing out your credit card, this is hitting your credit card, your credit score negatively. And you basically want to make sure that you are not doing this if you want to keep your credit score high and in great shape. So again, let me know your thoughts. Has any of this ever happened to you? Has the, the, are these five, you know, things that we mentioned, have you ever felt like or have you ever experienced it in your personal life? Let us know in the comment section below on what impact it had on you. So we've talked about these impacts. We've talked about the negative things that will impact your credit score and how you can avoid it. If you've gained some insight or you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share this video with other people. People deserve to know how to improve their lives financially. So subscribe if you have not for more videos see you in the next one stay safe and keep winning